Who were some of the first early on, like, five mics? Who received five mics? Or how many albums? Do you know how many albums total actually received five mics? It wasn't a lot, really. Yeah, it wasn't a lot. Um, uh, it's probably less than 15 that got five mics when we first reviewed them. Got you. Now, in the late 90s, maybe early 2000, we decided we need to go back and re-rate certain ones that we had you know, we felt needed to be changed. Got you. Um, so, for example, The Chronic only got four and a half mics when it came out. Got you. Um, of course, we re-rated that as a five. You know, uh, Scarface, The Diary had gotten four mics. That got a five. You know, I think Mob Deep, The Infamous got four and a half. So, um, if you count the ones that we re-rated, gotcha. the numbers get bigger. But in the, the first ones to get five mics we're in the early 90s. Um, I think Tribe Called Quest, um, Low End Theory, um, Brand Nubian. Um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name of All For One, I believe, is their album. Got five mics. Gotcha. Um, let me think. There's a couple others in the early 90s. I think, I think Ice Cube. I mean, I think America's Most Wanted got five mics. It wasn't mics then, but it got five gotcha. a five rating hip hop classic. Um, those were among the the early ones. So it, it come down to, you know, like I said, I'm a Detroit native. So Eminem you know, come out, but Eminem got what? What was his rating? Um, he always got good ratings. I think he got four mics. I mean, that's to me, that's just part of the story that's been you know, created like there, I, I never heard of any dispute with him over mic ratings. You know, let's remember the source put Eminem in unsigned hype gotcha. before he ever had his record deal. OK, my boy Riggs Morales, you know, one of the best A&R men in the music industry today, you know, was working at the source at the time. And he picked Eminem for unsigned hype. Eminem was the first white artist person ever to be on the cover of the source we never had any other white person on the cover until we put eminem on the cover in like whatever 99 he got he got a couple of covers gotcha. um eminem uh won lyricist of the year at the source awards in 99 uh 99 to 2000 i think 99 um so all that to say like you know we were a big part of helping create Eminem's career and support his career. Um, and a lot of that gets lost sometimes when people get into all the other stuff that, you know, that happened in the subsequent years.